So I've noticed in the comments that a lot of you guys have been requesting for me to do a hair tutorial on how I do my like kind of messy, wavy, like I call it lion hair. I don't know, it just reminds me of like a big lion's mane. So I thought today I would bring you guys along with me as I get ready. Step one is we are going to get in the shower. Well, not we, just me. <laughs> I'm gonna get in the shower. <laughs> I'm gonna get in the shower and I'm going to just shampoo and condition like I normally would. Hair has been successfully shampooed and conditioned. So now I'm just brushing it out and I like using this wet brush because it seems to not rip any of my hair out, which is fantastic. Okay, so now it's all detangled, but we want to put some body in it because obviously this hairstyle requires a lot of volume and body. This is the trick. I let my hair dry naturally because I find that it gives it a little bit more natural wave than if I were to apply heat. But I want to give it a little boost as it dries naturally. So I have this trick. Let me show you. <laughs> let me try to show you because I don't know if this is gonna work actually. And obviously many of us are familiar with the scrunching technique where you just do like this. But I find it really, <laughs> this is not the thumbnail. <laughs> I find it really helps if you take a towel, like a really thick plushy towel that can absorb a lot of moisture and just grab handfuls of hair. And so it dries it and at the same time puts, you know, these nice waves in there. So at this point, if you're in a hurry, you can just blow dry it and just kind of put it into fistfuls of hair like this as you blow dry it and that's fine but I always just let mine dry naturally because I find as it dries it gets even more wavy. So after about an hour of drying this is this is what we're starting out with. So it's kind of curly underneath. My hair tends to curl underneath which is nice but as you can see it's just it's fluffy. It's not flat. So fluffy not flat. That's what, how we want to start this. <laughs> the tool that I'm going to be using to achieve this look is just like one of these wrap around wands. These are very popular these days. I'm sure you guys know what this is. Um, this particular one is the Beach Waver S1. I've had this for a while, been using it for a while. Okay, so I'm just going to split my hair into three sections. So the bottom, which is actually, you can see, already quite wavy, which is nice because that means less work for me. So when I grab these sections and I go in, I grab them messily and quickly. So this first one, and I'm gonna do it away from my face, just really quickly, let it sit for like a tiny second and release. So now the next one I'm going to grab and I'm gonna do it in the opposite direction. So I'm gonna do it towards me instead of away from me, see? Da -da -da -da, and drop. So now I don't go away from me, towards me, away from me, towards me. I do mostly away from me, but every now and then I will throw in a towards me just so that the hair doesn't become uniform and all flow in the same direction, if that makes sense. So this is where it gets messy. I don't grab every single piece of hair. Like some of these I will miss. And that's the beauty of this because you kind of made it all texturized in the beginning. You don't have to curl every single piece of your hair. So I'm just gonna repeat that for this bottom layer and the middle layer, but then the top layer is where things kind of switch up a little bit. So just repeat this for the bottom two layers and I'm gonna just speed it up so we can get through this. This is what it looks like with just the two layers done. So I'm going to do this last final layer. Um, and another really big tip is as you're styling it to just keep like messing it up. I just don't want it, I personally don't like it to look too, you know, defined. I like it to be really like beachy and messy. Okay, so with this last layer, we're going to do the same thing the first time around. And then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna do something else. So for now, we'll just repeat what I've been doing, mostly little sections going to the back, so this way, and then a few going this way just to build some texture and body. Okay. 
This is what it looks like with all three of the layers just kind of messily done, but we're gonna take it up another notch. So we're just gonna take tiny little sections, like one third of what we were taking before, put the rod right next to your scalp carefully, and then leave it on just a little bit longer than what we were doing before. And then you will see the curls are a little bit tighter and it's going to really take this last layer and make it huge. So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna do some of those and then you guys will see what I mean. <laughs> What do you guys think? Is it lionlicious or what? I mean, I love it. And another thing that's fantastic about this hairstyle is that it is next day approved, meaning like the next day it actually looks even better than it did the first day. So it's perfect for holidays. I think it's a very cute holiday hairstyle too, which is why I wanted to share with you guys. But the next day, if you're hungover or you're in a food coma and you just can't with life, this hairstyle, you guys, this hairstyle is the way to go. It, I actually get more compliments on it the second day than I do the first day. So, I don't know what that is, but <laughs> anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. It means so much to me, and I'll see you soon.